the black ops 6 season 1 reloaded update just dropped and they brought in a brand new shotgun as well as buffed and nerfed a few of the guns so we're going to be going through all of the top five best weapons with the best classes with the first weapon being an honorable mention of the male storm shotgun it is a full auto shotgun in the game i got you guys a five attachment and an eight attachment build and i don't think it's actually like unlockable right now but you can use it in private matches and you actually can buy it from the store which i think is a little bit messed up that you know they allow you to buy things before it's actually in the game super messed up but anyways for the muzzle we are going to be adding the modified choke this is going to basically tighten up the pellets each pellet on this thing is going to be doing about 18 damage so you do have to hit a decent amount of pellets if you want that one shot kill so this is going to tighten those up making it a whole lot easier to actually hit those shots for the barrel we are going to be using the long barrel making it so our damage fall off isn't so severe right now our effective damage range is two meters so it's uh it doesn't have that much damage range and that's with the long barrel next up we are going to be using the cqb grip this is going to make it so our slide to fire speed is a little bit faster as well as that sprint to fire speed usually we do go with the ergonomic grip but a lot of times with the shotgun you are hip fired this is going to make it so you can hip fire a little bit faster coming down from a tactical sprint and then for the laser i like the fast motion laser basically makes it so our hip fire is a lot more tight when we are sliding and jumping and just overall moving around the game if you don't really slide that much and you want a tight hip fire then i'd use the steady aim laser and then um yeah or you could take off the laser then maybe add an under barrel you could add the ranger foregrip allowing you to move around the map a little bit faster but i think a laser is pretty good on the shotguns and then we are using the rapid fire which lowers that damage range in the bowl of velocity but this thing doesn't have like the best fire rate so i kind of think it's a must to add this so then the fire rate isn't so slow you guys can just hold down to the on the trigger and then you'll be firing the weapon you could also uh you know tap fire it as well so completely up to you guys but it's a little bit faster if you just hold down the trigger this is my favorite five attachment male storm shotgun class now if you guys do want to run eight attachments you can add the extended mag 2 magazine keep in mind ADS speed is going to be a little bit slower, but you still have a fast sprint to fire speed. But the underbar, we are going to be adding the Ranger forward, which is going to increase that tactical sprint speed as well as the sprinting movement speed. And then you can go over here and add a stock called the Light Stock, which is going to make it so your hip fire movement speed is a little bit faster, which is pretty helpful on these shotguns. I don't mind the sights, and so I don't really mind to add an optic, but you could take off that laser to add it, or you could take off the magazine to then add an optic, and you'll have a little bit better mobility. But since it is a full auto shotgun, I think it's better to have the magazine and run this exact build, which that is going to wrap it up for the first one. Weapon. By the way, if you're stressing about camos or simply just don't have time for them, check out my long-term sponsor, Guapsi. They will legitimately play in your account to hard unlock whatever you please. They can do the camos to the gun levels, and this goes for zombies, warzone, and multiplayer. They don't use an unlock tool, and this doesn't break 2S, so there is no risk of being banned, and no one has before. So if you want to save your time and energy, go to the top link in my description and check out guapsi.com. For the first weapon on the actual list, we got the XM4. We're using a brand new stock that allows us to actually be able to have no recoil while still having no recoil control attachments so you guys can see this optic is the prisma tech reflex i really like it on this gun i think it's a very underrated sight that you guys should definitely try out although usually i use the kepler micro flex for the muzzle we got the suppressor allowing us to be off the radar for the barrel we have the long barrel the damage range on this gun really isn't that good and the bolt loss is already good enough so long barrel is going to make it so the gun just feels a little bit stronger and then for the magazine we do have the extended mag one although you could take this off and then go and add the quick draw grip and then you have a statistic better build you're just gonna maybe run out of ammo occasionally and so i actually like this one a little bit more it's just i'm usually in a gunfight and i feel like most of you guys are as well and you like the extended mag more lastly for the stock we have the buffer weight stock this one is gonna increase that vertical and that horizontal recoil control so much to where there's literally no recoil on the gun if we look at the detailed stats 60 percent for the horizontal and 30 percent for that recoil gun kick and 30 percent for the vertical recoil control making the weapon such an absolute beam here's my favorite five attach in xm4 although the strafe speed really isn't that good with the buffer weight so you might actually want to go over here add the infiltrator stock that you can have the quick draw grip this is a little bit more aggressive build but it might be hard to hit your shots so you might want to have something like that there's a lot of different very good builds for this gun and then if you do run the eight attachments you can make it pretty overpowered because you have the quick draw to make it ads fast you have a lot of ammo you're going to be off the radar for the underbelly you can add the ranger for you making the gun feel lighter while still having a lot of control and then for the laser actually um well i wouldn't really add a laser we can then add the overpressured rounds Make it so we have hit scan up to like basically any range. This is going to be my favorite eight attachment XM4. You could actually take off the um, the underbarrel though and then add a laser. The Strelok makes it so your gun is insanely accurate. Right when you go to ADS, look at the hit fire accuracy. It is literally 100% before I'm even fully ADS. And the laser is not that bright whatsoever to where the enemies won't really see it. So this is another very good build if you don't mind the enemy seeing the laser. And that's actually better than the one with the Ranger 4 group unless you just uh, want to feel a lot lighter. All that said though, let's wrap it up for the XM4. Let's go over to the 
Herzog, one of the fastest killing SMGs. This SMG is so good, it actually just got banned from ranked play. I wish they kept it in because it statistically isn't that good, but it also is very good in that close damage range. It just has a lot of uh, mobility. It's just like uh, not that versatile of a weapon. Overall, though, since it does bounce your run a lot, we are going to be adding the compensator. If you want to be off the radar, obviously add the suppressor. For the barrel, since the bow velocity is already pretty good for SMGs and the damage range isn't that good, like I was saying, we're going to be adding the long barrel, bringing up that damage range to 14.9 meters, which is decent. And then uh, for the underbarrel, we are going to be using the Ranger Forge to uh, make it so we can move around the map a little bit faster. With the SMGs, it's nice to be able to attack sprint, sprint faster. The Ranger Foregrip does very well, giving us those boosts. The Vertical Foregrip will be better if you want to maximize that control. Or if you are adding a suppressor, you're definitely going to want to use the Vertical Foregrip. For the magazine, we are using the Extended Mag 2. Although, you could take this off, go over to the stock, and then add the Balance Stock on. I mean, the Light Stock on there. Making the weapon a little bit better for those up and close gunfights. And then, like, you don't really fly through ammo too fast with the gun. It's just like, if I'm playing on Nuketown, I usually like the Extended Mag 1 or the extended mag 2 on there but the rig for every smg you kind of want to add the ergonomic grip that's going to make it so you can do the omni movement without having a delay since there's a lot of delays when you do anything in this game and uh, this is also going to increase the ads speed making the weapon a lot more snappy keep in mind your true sprint to fire speed is going to be your ads since you typically don't fire the gun until your ads the spread to fire speed only applies if you go into a hip fire but then if you like tactical sprint that tax sprint gives you like a 110 millisecond delay and so you kind of have to add that to the sprint to fire speed to calculate that hip fire <laughs> with all that yapping here's my favorite five attachment sog and then if you do want to run the eight attachments this one you can again make it very broken add the light stock making the gun a little bit better up close sorry my nose is insanely itchy right now and then for the fire mods we are going to be adding the overpressured rounds just to make it so it's like we're on that better ping although if it already feels very well and you just want that recoil control you can run the recoil springs then you can actually add the suppressor since you got a lot of recoil control with that under barrel but uh, for me i would rather increase the bull velocity on the gun and then for the last attachment i like the iron sight so i would rather add the strelock laser or you could add the the steady i mean the fast motion laser making the gun a little bit better hip firing up close but i like this one because it makes it so we're already ads before we're even on target allowing you to pre-fire your shot with that having pretty good aim so it's my favorite eight attachment sog you might not like the lasers though so you could actually add the kepler on there or just not have an optic or a laser now for the next build that we are going to be going over this is going to be the krig this gun is so good it got taken out of rank play four bolts across the map with having absolutely no recoil definitely like the best ar in the game and this build is actually the uh, build that skump was using to drop his nuke in rank play yeah the dude dropped the nuke against iridescent players in rank fucking incredible so the ported is good if you can kill the enemies in the first few shots but then the compter is going to be better like overall recoil control which is why i usually use it in ranked for the next attachment we are going to be adding the reinforced barrel the long barrel is going to be helpful but you don't really need more than like 45 meters of damage range and then the, now the bolt loss is going to be at 900 meters per second so then it's going to be basically hit skin at any range in this game making it so uh, you just never have to lead your shots it's going to feel very consistent for the under barrel, we do have the ranger for this is just going to make it so you can move around a little bit faster while also still getting a little bit of recoil control if you are using a suppressor you might want to add the vertical and then so you can be off the radar we're still having that good control and then uh for the rig up we do have the ergonomic grip for me i like the quick draw grip because if there's like two targets or just in general if i need to recenter it makes it so it's a lot snappier but the ergonomic makes it so there's no delay if you slide into that gunfight and i feel like you guys want scumps build so if you guys do want to run the eight attachments you can add the extended mag one on there for the stock i would use the uh, the com uh i'll probably use the infiltrator stock so you can strafe a little bit faster that bobbin stock i was going to show you makes it so if the enemy shoot at you your screen doesn't really shake at all and you still have a fast strafe speed but the strafe speed with the infiltrator stock is so crazy you're doing a lot of damage to where you're already gonna win every gunfight at range so so now make it so uh you know you can dodge those bullets like neo and then lastly we are going to be going over to the fire mod and i recommend a rapid fire for these smaller maps you guys can see the recoil and everything is still going to be very good you're going to be perfectly fine but if you're on those huge maps or if you're in warzone you probably want to take off the rapid fire and then add the recoil springs and then you can just add the suppressor so now you have that recoil control while still being off the radar so you guys see the two variants on there definitely take a screenshot of this build absolutely love it and then the other one is going to be the the rapid fire build now for the next gun on this i mean on this list this is going to be the c9 and this c9 class incredible a lot of people don't like the c9 but i think it's just because they have the wrong build you guys can see this build doesn't have any recoil and we have a crazy straight speed and you have a lot of mobility and this thing is just 
so enjoyable one of my favorite smgs in the entire game now for the barrel we are going to be using the re actually no we're going to be adding the long barrel sorry about that because the bolt loss is already pretty good for those smgs and now we can maximize the damage range if we do add the reinforced it's only 15.3 meters with no barrel it's going to be about 13.3 so you can get a pretty big boost by just adding that long barrel we don't need a muzzle because this gun doesn't have that much vertical but it has a lot of horizontal so the vertical foregrip is going to do a very good job at eliminating that by increasing that by 35 percent for the magazine we are going to use the extended mag 2 although you can do just fine with the extended mag 1 and if you don't want to add a magazine like if you don't really need the extra ammo that's good because you can make the weapon statistically better and you can be off the radar by adding the suppressor or you can add the compensator if you want a general boost to your recoil control for me though i usually do better with the extended mag now for the rig same reasons we got the ergonomic for the stock we got the infiltrator it makes it feel like that og mp5 and just feels excess tray speed feels so unbelievably good although you could take off that stock and add a suppressor or you can go to the fire mods add a recoil springs if you want more horizontal recoil control but i think you're fine without that now for the eight attachment build we are going to be adding a suppressor uh equip the gunfighter wild card and then we're going to go to the fire mods and we are going to be adding the recoil springs just to make the gun that much more consistent and then we actually can go to the underbarrel and add the ranger four up on here so now there's still not that much recoil but then you can move around faster while still being off the radar again more recoil control uh add the vertical foregrip but that's uh completely up to your guys's skill level and then um for the last attachment i'm going to be adding the strelock laser this is going to be my favorite five attach eight attachment c9 remember if you want more control just add the vertical foregrip on there and then if you do want the rapid fire build i do recommend you guys to add the reinforced and then to do something like that just keep in mind it's not going to be that much range on the gun so it's only going to kill fast up close where you put the gun inside them Last up, we got the Jackal PDW, the best SMG in the game because it has the fastest TT, like sprint out TTK. So if you're sprinting, go to slide into the gunfight. It's going to be the fastest killing one on there. And it's super easy to use. You can use it as like a pocket AR. You are going to be spamming out a lot of shots. So the compensator is going to be the best for that. Although if you want to be off the radar, rock the suppressor. But if you do use the suppressor, you can't really run the ranger. You're going to have the vertical on there. Even with the compensator, the vertical is going to be very good because you just literally cannot miss any shots. But I want to feel a lot lighter, so I have the Ranger. For the barrel, we don't need the reinforced, and so the long barrel is going to be the best, making our, our damage fall off not as heavy. Because uh, after we get out of the effective damage range with the SMGs, especially Warzone, the guns feel very, very weak. And that's why the ARs are so dominant in this game. For the magazines, we got the extended mag 1, make it so we don't have to reload as often. Then for the rig up, we got the ergonomic grip for the same reasons as before. Here's a screenshot of my favorite five attachment jackal pdw now for the eight attachment we are going to be adding the balance stock which is what the pros use although i like the infiltrator and a few of the pros do use the infiltrator balance is just going to give you a general boost to every single type of strafe speed while the infiltrator only gives it to the um to the ads strafe speed and then for the fire mods we are going to be adding the overpressure so that no matter where we're at we don't really need to lead our shots and we have that hit scan potential last attach and completely up to you guys you can use the kepler optic or an optic of your choice or you can go over here and add the strelock which is going to make it so you know we just have insane accuracy and people just don't even see the laser uh it's just like laser could be annoying for some people uh i said that weird this is going to be my favorite eight attach and jackal pdw all that said that should wrap it up for the video if you guys do find it helpful hit the subscribe button nobody's on if you want to get notified a like is actually required if you made it to this part of the video let me know in the comments your favorite gun on the list and you guys all have a good uh season update merry christmas deuces <laughs>